I bring you warm greetings and season's greetings, wishing all of us good health and safety during these challenging times of COVID-19. Allow me to remind us about the vision and identity of Kenyatta University. Kenyatta University prides itself as being an international community of scholars dedicated to generation and dissemination of knowledge and inculcation of moral values for the societal development. The event we are having this afternoon is therefore quite in line with the mission, vision, and identity of Kenyatta University. And I want to congratulate you, Dr. Lucio Gola and your team for organizing this important dissemination workshop against the background of the challenge that we are facing, not only at Kenyatta University, not only in Kenya, but globally. This project is one of the flagship projects. I say flagship projects because the university management and the leadership threw its weight behind this project. And the project in a very innovative way involved our most precious commodities as Kenyatta University, our students to be the champions, the drivers of this, of this project. The project we are very pleased as a university management that for the last 18 years, since November of 2018, with the support of Bill and Melinda Gates, under the Miss Grant challenges, we have seen a lot of outputs, a lot of outcomes, and we are witnessing impacts. That this project has been implemented in three counties, Nairobi, Kajiado, and Makueni, with the support of the champions, led by the project leader and the team, with the support of the partners, and the guidance by our colleague from University of Prince Edward Island in, Can in Canada, we have seen enormous outcome from this project. We have seen enormous output. And most importantly, we have seen the impact of this project. That the project has been able to reach about 700, over 700 plus individuals, 184 households. I think and believe that these are the kind of projects that we, we as Kenyatta University would like to see moving forward. The project is, is quite in line with the Kenyatta University vision and strategic plan. This project is quite in line with the Kenya Vision 2030, whose aim is to transfer, transform this country from a low-income country to a newly industrialized middle-income country that provides high quality of health to all its citizens by the year 2030. To be able to achieve this, we need food and nutrition security. And this is what the project is all about. This project is in line with our media, medium, with the government of Kenya's medium term two, popularly known as the Big Four Agenda, and especially that on food and nutrition security. I therefore congratulate the team 
that has been involved and continues to be involved in this study, in this project, because the project is answering directly to the aspirations of the national government. This project is talking directly to the heart and soul of our county governments. And I believe that the, fi the findings of this study would open up opportunities for further research, further engagements with the other 45 counties in Kenya. I would therefore like to challenge the project leadership and the team to look at mechanisms, to look at ways of scaling up this project beyond the three counties subject to availability of funds. I am sure with the new normal as a result of COVID-19, the project can be re revitalized in future, even to bring in issues of san sanitation as an aspect of food and nutrition security. Please keep looking out for other call for proposals because I would consider this a robust proposal, a, a robust project that should not be limited only to the count, three counties. We need to spread this out, especially with the new normal. This project also talks directly to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. I know it is directly related to goal number two, on eradication of hunger, but I believe it also touches on the other goals, whether it is about education, you cannot go to school if you are hungry, whether it is peace and security, there can be no peace without development, there can be no peace if there's hunger. It talks about life on land, it talks another goal, of goal number 17. Goal number 17 is the delivery goal. That goal is about partnerships and collaborations. This project talks about partnerships and collaborations within the university itself, within the country, and internationally. This is a classical example of what a well thought out innovative project can be able to do. I therefore want to congratulate all of you, our 16 champions, the Kenyatta University champions. I want to congratulate the project leaders, Dr. Lucy, the project members, Shalin, the advisor, project advisor, and also the project partners. We don't take it for granted that you stood with Kenyatta University and the project team to ensure that the objectives of this project are met. With those few remarks, allow me then at this juncture to wish you very well in the next few hours that you'll be engaging. I wish you all the best. I wish you success. I wish you God's blessings. And I hope at the end of this dissemination forum, will be able to see activity in the social media about this project. With those few remarks, it is now my pleasure and privilege to declare this dissemination workshop officially opened. <laughs>